back so you want the outside air temperature but you don't have an input for that into your controller but your controller is on the internet so what do we do well if you use the normal trillium and you're in America well, weather module and you're in America there's no issues there whatsoever so there's our weather service and if I put a new module you won't get that ND home provider we'll come to that in a minute but you've got the NWS weather provider Fox weather provider and weather underground or wonderground weather provider but you don't have this NV uh, old WM provider so and we're in the UK so I can't use any of these even if I wanted to because they don't cover the UK area or to my knowledge they don't cover the UK area they only cover USA so what do you do well let me bring this across you download this so it's from GitHub, uh, GitHub, Neopsis, Ni Niagara Weather. So you would download this module. That's the latest there. On the 10th of Jan 2020. And you install it into your modules folder. I'll show you where that is now. Let's just move that to one side. And if I go to my uh, software manager, for example, no, not all that installed, and then this here, NVAS Weather RT. So that's installed on my system. And then you op you bring across a weather service. And then you add to the weather service this. And you put a location API key. So you need to get an API key. And you put in the location. As I have done here. So Dunstable is where I am. Now it gives you in, it in Fahrenheit. I presume I need to show you uh, how to get the key, don't I? Let me show you how to get the API key that you need. Right. So this is in the Open Weather Map service. You can see that there, open weather map service. So you need to go to a website for open weather map and you fill in the information here, openweathermap.org. Uh, sign up to get your free API. But we're not gonna go through that, so I'll let you sort that out yourself close that and we don't need that anymore so I can close that so once you've got your um, API key then you can add in your uh, area and like I've, as I've done here Dunstable GB and it gives you all the information in Fahrenheit which is no good to us if we're in the UK So use a numeric unit converter. You'll find this from here in the kit control conversions. Drag one of them across like so, like I've done here above. Link mark it where you've got your current for your, for your day. Link to temperature in show you 52.6 degrees Fahrenheit change that to centigrade 
save and that's done the conversion for you I meant all you need to do there link mark that go to your logic use wire sheet and if you're using something like the season control link from out into there that's telling you the temperature and of course the season control folder has now gone to winter I'll show you the bit of this logic it's easy enough to write I'm not going to rewrite it all again so you got your outside air temperature coming in there. We have a set point there for the winter summer mode set point. The dead band for it and spring autumn dead band. And you can see we've gone winter and spring. We've added them up there. Summer, uh, winter and summer. We've added, uh, no we haven't added them up there. Now we've added them up there. So summer mode, so if we're above 16 degrees, we'll be into summer mode. If we're above 18, uh, sorry, less than 18 degrees, we're in autumn mode. And if we're less than 14 degrees, we're in winter mode. And then you follow that through because we are in winter mode at the moment. That's a true. I know that's a true as well. But you follow them all through in the logic. But let's just do the winter mode. So we've got the true switch there, because we're below uh, 14 degrees. So that's saying winter into there. That is false. So we're reading that winter mode, and we've got the enum. Let me just show you the enum, the values. So one, autumn and spring, two, winter, three, summer. So if you want to copy this, just make a snapshot of what's uh, what we've got here. I'll leave it on the screen a bit longer for you. Summer mode, autumn mode, winter mode. So we're in winter, which is true. If that is above uh, 14, that would be false. So we'll be in that mode there, and if that's still false, we'll be in, that would be saying autumn and spring. For that to be true, that's got to be less than the value of 1, and winter is showing a 2 in there, and a 1 in there. I mean, we, we can just change the temperature just to check it so let's go to we've got 14 to 16 for autumn and spring so let's just put that to 50 so we're now autumn and spring and outside there uh, above 16 degrees is summer so let's just put that to 17 degrees and we're in summer mode that override off and we're back into winter mode so winter less than 14 outside air 14 to 16 autumn spring mode and greater than 16 we're in summer mode so let's put that back to 15 so we're true there because we're less than 18 so that's added a 2 onto there, but we're not using that because that is false, so we're using this one here. So winter and autumn, and that's just a value there, false, which we're sending a 2 to there. So there's your 2 there, but it's false there because we're in autumn and spring mode, so it's this one here autumn and spring anyway all you need to do is copy that which just remember what the, the what blocks are take a snapshot of it and then that will give you your 
uh, seize and control if you ever need it for a site. Most description of operations just are interested in winter and summer. They don't bother about the spring and autumn. So all you'll be using there, coming out from that, is a value of two or a value of three. So anything less than uh, Uh, anything less than two is classed as winter and anything greater than two is classed as summer if you're just doing winter and summer anyway that was just how to show you to get the uh, temperature from um, the internet for any UK or European sites in the Niagara or you can just install an outside air temperature sensor on your control logic but if you haven't got one or it's faulty or it doesn't work you can always use that software thank you for watching